In this video, I will explain how identity-based security is working when multiple users are working on the same machine and we learn the identities using the identity collector. So the scenario that I'm discussing here is based on the checkpoint techpoint lab for partners. So on our website, you can find this lab and get it started to reproduce what I've done here. Essentially, we have an external gateway and an internal gateway. The internal gateway is learning identities using the identity collector. So the login event that is performed on the laptop is forwarded to the identity collector who is then communicating with the policy decision point on the security gateway, on the internal gateway. Then identity sharing is configured to forward the identity session to the policy enforcement point. There is a mechanism called identity session conciliation that is documented in the SK that you see indicated here and the uh, administration guide. Identity conciliation means that we are able to manage the login events that happen on one machine, on one IP address, and we can modify if an identity session for the first user that is existing on this IP address is overwritten, deleted, or if an additional user-related session should be associated with this identity session. The internal security gateway is learning the identities from the identity collector and it is sharing the identity sessions with other gateways. The external gateway is getting the identities from the internal gateway and has no identity sources configured. In our security policy that we have on the internal gateway, we have three access roles used in the rule base and each access role is related to a user group learned from the Active Directory. On the external gateway, on the external gateway we have the same, we are using the same access roles in our security policy rule base. In the very beginning of the lab test, the internal gateway has one identity session. This identity session, here we look at the super session, so the outside container is bound to this IP address and we have a basic session for a machine. This is the ID of the basic session for the machine that is part of the super session bound to the IP address. On the external gateway it is known that on this machine there is an identity session active. So if we look at this ID 517, 5.7. We now log on the user Alice on the Windows computer using remote desktop because that's the only thing that works in my lab. So I see user Alice is logging on to Windows and we see that the identity session, the super session here that is bound to this IP, it already has a machine related session that has been added once the computer has rebooted because the identity collector recognized that this machine was logging on and this session is valid until this time. Now we have another basic session for the user Alice matching this access role locked by the identity collector with this distinguished name and the next authentication is expected at this time. Why is it 12 hours? This is because the default, the default session time is 12 hours. On the external gateway that is learning the identities from the internal gateway, we see that the user Alice is known on 
this machine now. If we log on with another user on the same computer, for example, the help desk user. So now I have the help desk user logged on. And what we see is that our user session for Alice is no longer existing. Instead, we have a user session for the help desk user with the help desk role. So now, even on the enforcement point, the only user known on this machine is the help desk user. We need to understand the identity session conciliation status. So if we check the conciliation status for the IDC, we see that multiple users that work on one machine when identity collector is used to learn the sessions, it's not enabled. So what if we now enable this function? So now we have the identity session conciliation to allow multiple users on one machine using the identity source identity collector. And what happens now if I have another session another user connecting to the same machine. We see that a new identity basic session has been added to our super session related to the ID IP address. The help desk is still known and this basic session will be valid until the time out occurs. And we have user Bob on this machine. If we have now a third login event on this machine, we see that another basic session was added for Alice. And on the policy enforcement point, we see the users help, Bob and Alice. They all are associated with this machine on this IP address. The status for the identity collector allowing multiple users on one machine under the identity conciliation is important. It is by default disabled and we can enable it. Thank you for watching this.